and welcome to the We Pay For Your Floor podcast. My name is Phil. I'm Andy. And I'm Sarah. And today we're going to be talking about the lifespan of an inverted giraffe. (laughs) (laughs) But before that, Sarah, how's your floor? Well scrubbed. Well, it's good to hear. I mean... It is spring, technically, bit of spring cleaning. Bit of, bit of spring cleaning. It's good to 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 out with the old crumbs and in with the new crumbs, you know. Uh, you got scour or sponge? A uh, bit of both. Bit of both. Bit good, of both. good, good. Scour or sponge? You like a bit of both in your family, don't they? <laughs> I'm so sorry. That was an example of my brain kicking, or my mouth kicking in before my brain could. <laughs> because we never have that problem. Oh, I know, we? right. <laughs> So, Andrew, um, how are you? <laughs> Bottom. <laughs> I'm fine. I, I'm fine. It's been a very good day. How are you two? Uh, I, you too. <laughs> you both. Sorry. Oh, I'm living. Tell you what, Earl upstairs is doing my head in. Oh, that's, <laughs> that's love and serve. All right. She pays for your ceiling. We pay for your floor. It's oh, a Yorkshire yes. sherbet everywhere. Without us, you wouldn't have anything to step on. <laughs> that is true. That is true. So, the other day at work, I spoke to a customer, I'll use the term loosely, that... <laughs> Well, no, no, because <laughs> because this person was born in the year 2000. Oh, I hear that. They I'm were sorry. actually born in the year 2000. And I literally said to myself, oh, this person's not old enough to have a shit they are. oh my god yeah People are born in 2000 are old enough to have they're, like, they're legally adults they're, but now. she's not just old enough she would be at minimum 20 years old so yeah. presumably an adult yeah to yeah. a certain degree so i thought oh my god i am fucking old and it got me thinking about what i like about being old and what i like about being young and it occurred to me that they're very similar and i have a lot of things that i will never grow out of and I made a nice little list. Oh, I do like a list. Uh, I do like a list. I'm intrigued to hear that. So um, the first thing was watching helicopters. Yes. I will I will never be old enough to go helicopter. Ooh. I'll be too old to go. I'll never be too old to watch a helicopter just go, oh, shit. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yes, I will never yes. be, yeah, I will never be old enough to just go, oh, helicopter. It, it, like, even now, I'll hear one. Going by, and, and then you're like, I will, I will peer out the curtains. window. Ex- exactly, every single time. Can't see the fucking thing. <laughs> no, but you're like, oh, helicopter, what's going on? Uh, another one is penguins falling over. Oh, that has always been funny. That has yes. always been funny. I did hear as well, and I don't know if it's true, that um, penguins do actually watch planes and helicopters, and that's when they fall over. Oh, is that yes. true? Is that I, actually I, I, true? Because they've got no light yet. They, 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 <laughs> they go like that, and then they fall. fall over, and then you've got falling over. Uh, Falling over penguins. It's the same animal, isn't it? Falling over penguins, that will always be funny. They are. Yeah. Are they not birds? No. Oh, birds are mammals. No, penguins are birds. They lay eggs. Oh, they're birds, aren't they? No. Is that a stupid question? (laughs) No, the definition of a mammal is a creature that gives birth to live young. Ah! Penguins are birds, they lay eggs. Turns out I never grow out of knowledge. (laughs) <laughs> he never too old for school. Clearly, you need to go back. <laughs> this side of the room, we know fuck all about biology. Have to be not mammals. That's why platypuses are so weird because they're the only mammals that lay eggs. Because they are technically a mammal, but yet they lay eggs. That's interesting. So yeah, penguins. And um, the other one is. <laughs> Oh, yeah, penguins. <laughs> yeah, penguins. The other one is 69. <laughs> 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 that will always be. Yeah, exactly. Every time it's uh, nice. See, for me, it's the word shuffle card. Uh, That's a great word. That is a good word. And also, thanks to Mops the, mo- 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 the Week. Thanks Mops the Mops the, the Week, the word spatchcock. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like that, actually. No, 69 will always be funny. And every time I see, again, a customer with a birth date of 69, I'm like, hurt, nice. <laughs> I'll be dead soon. <laughs> uh, the other one is Sailor Moon. 
Of course. Obviously, 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 obviously. Yeah, no, just I will always dance like a five year old whenever I hear it. Yeah, I'm the same as them, but I am more so with Pokemon. Yeah. The Pokemon theme song comes on, I am, I want to be the very best. Yeah, you just, you've got to do it. You've, you've got, got to. to. Yeah, it's very true. Um, the other one is Cat Boys. So let me explain this one before you judge me, okay? I'm already judging. <laughs> So, I would never judge. <laughs> just my actions, thoughts, and feelings. <laughs> just everything about you. Yeah. So, Catboys, did you ever watch Shugo Kara, the anime, as a kid? I'm going to... I don't yes. think so. You might want to give it a Google. So, it was like How proper Shugo, S H U G O Kara, C H A R A. And it was. S H U G O. O, and then Kara, C H A R A. Okay. It yeah. was. Basically, that atypical, magical girl oh, yeah. um, was, uh, you know, a completely normal girl. Then all of a sudden she had these magic powers. And then all of a sudden all these boys wanted her, right? And there was this dark, um, dark-haired, slim, yeah, that's him, um, uh, kind of not bothered boy that um, was kind of like the love interest, but he was damaged. <laughs> and I can fix him, is my point. <laughs> I can fix him. We know you love a project. I do love a project. Especially if it's a man. Especially if it's a man. <laughs> but this this character was a like... Reefer, a bit of DIY, DIY SOS in here. <laughs> yeah, just an extension. Um, the character in it had like this character had like a cat alter ego and he was like the, my teenage awakening to ah, fictional boys i think this is a sensible route for my next romantic interactions for the next, <laughs> for the next 10 years of my life <laughs> cat boys will always look 20 yeah sorry how old am i now oh shit oh shit oh <gasps> I discovered like anime boys at 13. I'm so old. <laughs> anyway, um, next one will be Sasuke from Naruto. <laughs> Forever Sasuke. Forever Sasuke, because again, I can heal him with my love. <laughs> I can heal him with my love. <laughs> um, the other one is Daniel Radcliffe, because I can heal him with my love. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sensing a pattern for me here. <laughs> Daniel Radcliffe, because. Is, Daniel is this the, the love heal trifecta? What's that? You've got this anime guy, Sasuke, yeah. and Daniel Radcliffe, and you are the one at the centre of the triangle trying to heal, heal them all. all of them. That's, the fact that's that you goal. think it's just a triangle is very forgiving of you. That's what I'm hoping. I'm hoping it's not a dodecahedron <laughs> or something just completely abstract. It's a, a love heal globe, if you will. It oh probably my. is that. Yeah, it's more of a love... What's that? Crystal maze, that's it. Oh, it's there are challenges. It's a crystal meth, man. <laughs> it's, 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 crystal meth. <laughs> it's a love crystal meth. <laughs> um, everyone's expensive and a little high strung. <laughs> um, emos and goths. Because you can face them with your love. Because I go, oh shit, yeah. That, no, 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 no. I'm with you on that one. I, I will always respect an emo and a goth because one, like, it's. They're just showing who they are. Do you know what I mean? It's just they keep into their true selves. And I think that is their true selves. I don't. If someone says they're not an emo or a goth, they are an emo or a goth. They're just not being true to their dark selves. <laughs> you know what I mean? I love emo and goth aesthetic. And you don't really see a lot of goth slash emos nowadays, do you? You're saying that sat across from a boy who recently dyed his hair jet black and started painting his nails black. That's true. That is true. But you don't, you know, I mean, you don't see the leather I mean, jacket. I've been mean, and... out to you as an emo since I met you. No, so, yeah, you know. that is true, yeah. That is, uh, mm, mm -hmm. I haven't been outside in about a year. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, pasty, pasty for all in, everyone's oh, going to be pasty emo yeah, goths yeah. when they go out because they haven't seen the sun yeah, in a oh, year. Yeah, that is true. That's going to be nice when I yeah. go outside again. Yeah, everyone's going to look, it's, it's going to be the early 2000s all over again. We'll have gone back to nice. 20 years. I love that. I have just had so much, I have never met an emo I disliked. Let's put it that way. Craig. Who? Yeah. He was a cunt. <laughs> is Craig is this a, is, is this a, is made up by any chance? Or is this a gentleman from back in the school days? From day? back in the day. He was a cunt. Craig doesn't sound like an emo name. Does <laughs> no, it? it really doesn't. No. Craig sounds That's like he's probably a why he was a cunt. 
Um, the other one is <laughs> being able to open those click lids. I will never be able to do that. Oh, what, the ones where you sort of squeeze and twist? The security lock thing. Yeah. yeah. Like, I've never models. been able to do it. How how does one do that? Push down, twist. I've tried that, doesn't it? Or sometimes, <laughs> sometimes you have to push down, squeeze parts of it and twist. Why? Because... Because... It's not kids getting into it. It's because... not getting into it. <laughs> yeah. You're a kid at heart. Oh, oh I think that elderly people where the, the hands are going slightly. Mm. Ethel still needs to clean the bog. Why are we keeping what? bog cleaners in security sealed containers? Bleach. Though? Bleach has those sort of... Does it? Yeah, it I'm has that sort of lids where you have, to, you have to... <laughs> usually, it's got those sort of lids where you have to squeeze it and twist are it. Are you sure you're not just <laughs> using the old trick of Coca-Cola to swirling it around? That's just cheap bleach. I thought you were going to say Coca-Cabana. <laughs> The just, just blasting Barry Manilow, <laughs> and that'll shift your line scale. You know what? It is scientifically proven to move shit. <laughs> Livid. <laughs> I love it. And um, he's a gay man. He's very used to moving shit. <laughs> is Barry Manilow the one that did move? No, that's the gas switch. Barry Manilow did Copacabana. That's why it said that. Yeah, no, I know that. What else did he do? Oh, He's in a film do? called A Cranberry Christmas. Oh, we yeah. need to watch that. <laughs> Cranberries. Even if it's nothing like what I'm imagining, because it will be nothing like what I'm imagining. It's a whole movie. Oh, <laughs> it is exactly what I'm imagining. It, is. <laughs> it has 6.7 on IMDb. Oh, that's not bad. My <laughs> mum's probably seen it twice, because she watches all of those things. From June onwards. Yeah, <laughs> Hallmark um, Holiday is in the Christmas ones. So yeah. yeah. They've got their own channel now. They do. Yeah, they just do. Christmas. It's so Christmas depressing. Holiday. I saw, um, do you remember on Stargate Atlantis, you know, the doctor, the Scottish doctor? I've never watched that one. Uh, you remember normal Stargate? Yeah. In, like, the away team. <laughs> Football terms. Um, <laughs> this, you know, the away team. There was a Scottish doctor in it. Okay. With short spiked up hair, he was in a Hallmark film the other day, and I was like, "Oh, how the mighty have fallen!" They yeah, gotta pay the gas bill somehow. That is true. That is true. Um, and the last one was uh, nightcore music. Oh, I hear you. I, oh, I love nightcore music. I know. I'm sorry. I'm a disappointment to my gender, but <laughs> <laughs> I fucking love nightcore music. Why does that make you a disappointment to your gender? Because it's so atypically. <laughs> It's so atypically female, you know? It's it's like, and I'm like doing that emails first thing in the morning with Big Mama Bear. So what you're saying is, this whole is compiled is you're just recently discovered that you're an e girl. I am a, oh shit, without a really cool chair. You are Belle Delphine. I am. You are Yorkshire's answer to Belle Delphine. <laughs> I'm just called A Up Love. <laughs> Your ego name is Clarissa Parkin. <laughs> oh. Yeah. I do have um, a pink headset with ears as well that um, Chris was so nice to supply me with. How long until you get him ears to wear? I want matching ones. Oh, so you can be your cat boy. Yeah, be my cat boy. Yeah, Nikon music is the actual fucking biz. It really is. <laughs> <laughs> But that's 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 me. How do you know you're getting old, Phil? I can't do really. the same age. I, 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 I click, I clack, and you can't keep it up anymore. Oh, dear. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? I know, I know, <laughs> oh, I know it's gonna be a good day if I can get up and out of bed <laughs> without wanting to kill myself. <laughs> So few and far between those days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The last time was oh god, must have been about. Me? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Seven years ago. <laughs> Is there not things that you miss? And that, would you? I tell you what, I'll put this question to you. Do you, would you rather be twenty three now? Or, or be the age that you are now, if that makes sense. So would you rather be young now or young when you were young? If, that makes sense? So if I could go back, I'd rather be 16. 
16 now. Yeah. Yeah. I would rather be 16. Pay the bills. Yeah, partly. <laughs> that was fun. Um, and I just, I got more done. You got more done? I got more what done. What were you doing at 16? <laughs> I wasn't you, Mr. What? 12 times a day. Excuse me? <laughs> what is in your social schedule that takes up so much time? No, 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 back up, back up, back up. Number one. <laughs> what? Number two. On air. <laughs> <laughs> Number three. I didn't specify what. It's very heavily implied. I, I didn't. I, I don't know what year it is. So. He's an obsessive. <laughs> what? Like... What? What's, what's that next word? Bill, you you know? can't say that! Window what? cleaner. You did not say window cleaner. <laughs> I know. I went to say something else and then that pops into my brain straight away. It's like, this is all getting cut. <laughs> so, what you're... I'd it... just like to clarify to the... Uh, any any poor person is listening to this. I do not um, I wasn't listening. have a hand shandy 12 times a day. <laughs> shandy! I love that term. So you were saying about being 16 and your responsibilities. What responsibilities do you have at 16, Phil? What were you doing? Not, nothing. Were you supporting that's, your family? No, no, that's the thing. <laughs> I didn't really have any responsibility. <laughs> he was in Sunderland. No, I was in I was in Barney at that point. It's still the North East. The, the proper North. north. It's not... still coal miners. <laughs> at least it's the proper North, unlike here in Yorkshire, where you're brushing against the Midlands. I think that's uh, treading on uh, South dangerous Yorkshire. ground and there, And Sheffield Phil. is the fucking let's, boss of a South I Yorkshire. I don't mean to... Yeah, you know all about that bottom, don't you? Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, you queer. <laughs> 16, you were Pretty much, apart from walking the dog. Yeah. So I got a and lot. Should never be a euphemism for that. <laughs> <laughs> so I got a lot more done in terms of just random creative shit. Oh, okay. Just you mean you got a lot of free time? That's what you mean. A lot of not free time actual to... stuff, not important stuff. <laughs> you just have <laughs> free time. Important to my fragile ego. Oh, oh, oh I'm sorry. <laughs> Basically, what I'm saying is, it was back in a time. Where he didn't have the crushing despair of life to stop him yeah. from doing what he wanted to do. So would you like to have the tech now? Would be 16 now? The tech now and... Yeah, that would be yeah. a great combination. Well, 16 now with the tech now would still have the tech from when you were 16. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'd, I'd get to bring that with me. <laughs> oh, that is true, yeah. I don't know if I want to be a young person now. I feel that... I wouldn't understand most no. of it. No, well, no, I just I, I think that... Now, maybe as a young person, there's more traps to fall into now than there was when I was 16. Maybe. When I was 16. Well, Stop it. they will do that. I, there was yeah. always Sneaky Dave with his van near the park. Free sweets written on the side. Yes, mm. but he, the way Freaky Dave did it was... Um, <laughs> he used to do it in a riddle. So it would... <laughs> Okay. It would intrigue you. Okay. If you can fit me in your bum, I'll give you a wine gum. <laughs> That's a poem. Well, so sometimes he'd have just like jumbled up letters, like an uh, anagram okay. or something. Uh, sometimes he'd have like, I don't know, the Sudoku from the Metro <laughs> earlier that morning. Yeah. Uh, yeah. If he was really stumped on like the top left square, he'd just spray paint that on the side of his van. And then you get the kids coming along and trying to help them out. And if you sort it quick enough, you could get away with a lollipop. Oh, excellent. That is... Maybe a bit of a sore arse. Why did you... <laughs> <laughs> you work quick enough, you're getting Jimmy Savile. Oh. <laughs> Where did you live again? The North. Hell. The North. <laughs> the North. The North. <laughs> what about you, Andy? I'm obviously you're slightly younger than us. Would you be younger now, or would you go back to... Does that, does so, that make sense? Because I'm, like, kind of... In between you two, when it comes to like, mm. I, I'm still closer to my 20s than I am to my 30s, if that all makes right, sense. All right, I'm less. <laughs> no, I mean, like, yeah, one, I one of my fondest memories of when I was younger is uh, I was growing up and going into my teenage years as YouTube was really blowing up. Mm, mm. Um, and I kind of feel like if I was a teenager, mm. as I am now, I feel like I would have been completely on board the TikTok train, uh, which yeah, I think yeah. I would have loved growing up. Mm. Um, but then on the other side, so I would have loved that. And life was a lot simpler back when you were in school. Yeah. Like you got bullied, 
mainly because I was a raging homosexual. But no. I know, surprise, right? No. But um, at least you know the main thing you will ever have to really worry about was homework mm. and occasional mm. random gossip that went around school that wasn't even true. Mm. Do you remember that being at the time being like the biggest? Oh thing yeah, yeah, ever exactly. Ever. Yeah, no, I remember like, one time yeah. I accidentally ate my lunch during break time, like first break, because I got the timing wrong. Yeah, and I was so embarrassed by that that I legitimately cried. Oh no! And it, looking back, what? absolutely nothing. <laughs> yeah. Why was I so worked up about that? But now the thing is, life was so much simpler back then. But I wouldn't want to be young unless I went, uh, unless I had the personality and the logic that I do now because I yeah. feel like I've matured a lot since I moved out of my parents. Yeah. And I'm not going to lie, I was a fucking annoying teenager <laughs> and I wouldn't want to put anybody else through that again. Mm. So if I was young again, I'd want the personality I have now where I'm still annoying. Yeah, no, I guess. But a lot less, like, egregious, I guess. Mm. Maybe mm. A less obnoxious, I don't mm. know. Be young with the knowledge of who you are now yeah exactly yeah yeah. you mentioning school has just reminded me of something wonderful from primary school which teacher touched you none unfortunately (laughs) it was a rite of passage which I missed (laughs) your passage yes (laughs) which I missed out on because I got the flu (laughs) on the day that the teacher Speaking of dodgy teachers, our RE teacher, this was in secondary school, Barnard Castle. Um, there's only one secondary school there, so you can narrow it down pretty easily. I was going to say, why is it always called. the RE teachers, but it makes sense, they're Catholic. No, no, he, he, no, no, he wasn't Catholic, but he was a cunt. Um, <laughs> Who's the other C word? I want that to be someone's bio on Tinder. I'm not Catholic, but I am a cunt. Uh, um, he, I can't remember if he was a, actually, I don't think he was a proper RE teacher. Mm. He was maybe just a sub. Because uh, I'm shit, I'm shit. Don't you fucking, don't you twist that, you dirty minded cunt. That was so naughty. Right, but I'm pretty sure he was a I substitute know. teacher. Because uh, I'm sure he covered like geography and history and other things uh, sometimes as well. <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting for you to just go. What's up? <laughs> Sorry, Bill. Carry on. Continue. Uh, but he was a little bit forceful and very sort of boisterous is maybe the best way to describe it. He was very... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Mexican. <laughs> it was not Mexican. He was. He, that he, in fact, he was the the exact opposite. He was. Um, racist. Very. Oh, that's another fun. He was very racist. Uh, uh, and a few years later, by the time we got to sixth form, because he was teaching us when we were in year eight or nine. Uh, by the time we'd gotten to sixth form at the same place, I we found I out. Tell me about this guy. We found out that he was a member of the BNP. Oh, shit. So he was an army teacher. Yeah. Isn't that like an oxymoron? He was a fucking moron. Yeah. <laughs> Holy um, shit. Yes, yeah, so that was fun. Oh my god. Which explained a lot. So, to answer the question, oh, you would like to be an RE teacher? Oh, oh, what? <laughs> no. <laughs> Don't say it. No. <laughs> Although, I do remember in my RE GCSE writing something about the Pope having wind turbines on the Vatican. <laughs> that took up about half a page of a full question oh. answer that I did. That half an A4 page was me just dedicated to writing random shit about the Pope having wind turbines on the Vatican and why that's not a normal thing to happen. <laughs> You're right, Phil. It's not. <laughs> and I can't remember why, but I got a D. It's funny. Like, I remember, I do not remember anything about my RE classes at school, but I remember on one of my exams, and I can't remember the, the context of the question, but I knew it was relevant. I went on like a two page, like, 
debate, not debate. I wrote like a two page essay on the Vicar of Dibley. <laughs> and I can't remember why, but I knew it was genuinely relevant to the question. And I got like a B, so you know what? Ooh, there yeah. we go. I think that's. I'd perhaps go back to classes back then because I be for, for me. I don't know if anyone. Perhaps I should have felt, but I did not feel a lot of pressure at an academic level. Whether <laughs> that's just <laughs> <laughs> maybe that says a lot about my either my school or just my level of of uh, intellect. Level of fucks given. Fucks given. But I did not feel a lot of pressure. I think that kids have got a lot more pressure now. Then. Which is funny you say that, because if you listen to a lot of the older generation, they'd be like, oh, kids today have it easier than it's ever been. And it's like, no, they don't. No, I, I don't think they do. No, I agree. Like, whilst technology has massively advanced, mm. the, the sort of pressures and constraints of, of society, yeah. now that we're living in an age where anyone can talk to anyone around the world, really adds a lot of pressure onto kids. This got a lot deeper than I was expecting. I'm sorry. That's what she said. <laughs> and we're back. This was back in primary school, so it was younger, stupider, yeah. and far more susceptible to sleep. <laughs> but not much shorter. No, yeah. no, I've been a uh, walking giant since I squeezed out of the womb. Oh, lovely. <laughs> it's like an eel. Yeah! <laughs> Stood on a foot. <laughs> <laughs> Like, uh, like one of those um, sort of action rockets. You, you know, where you... Like, You'll know this, Sarah. Like, like, like with Action Man or something, you get like a fake you plastic missile. <laughs> yes, I was a sky dancer. <laughs> I flew out of my womb. My womb? <laughs> Your own womb. Your mum just pulled I the flew out. <laughs> She pulled the string and Phil spun out. <laughs> so she, you she turned to my dad and went... <laughs> um, you can say that he's gay. <laughs> um, <laughs> I think it was lunch break mm. at a primary school, and we'd all, you know, gone out, had dinner, gone out, played, blah blah blah. People were kicking footballs around. People were running around being silly, rolling down a hill because that's what you do. You do as a kid, then yeah. there's a hill, you roll down it. Yeah. And I decided, after rolling down the hill a few times, I was a bit worn out, went to one of the benches, mm. sat down, about a minute or so later, lay down, next thing I knew... How long till you fell asleep? <laughs> next thing I knew, playground was empty. <laughs> now, this bench is out in the open. It's pretty much in the middle of the playground. Yeah. And there were, you know, like, like dinner lady sort of people who would, like, looking after... Or supposed to be looking after the kids. Yeah. These women didn't care. Yeah. Uh, it, as long as you didn't go up to them or talk to them or interact with them in okay. any way, yeah, yeah, yeah. they were your best friends. Yeah, okay, yeah. As soon as you tried to talk to them or say, they did this or this, what? Yeah. Be back in a minute, Deborah. <laughs> what do you want? Uh, so they just left me <gasps> lying on this bench. And I had to then toddle around to the front of the school oh. and get buzzed in by the receptionist. And say, what are you doing out there? Said, well, break finish? <laughs> and now I, I can't get in. Oh, no! And I got escorted oh, shit. to my class where everyone was sat in silence yeah. waiting for me. Oh, shit! The teacher didn't look up from her book, and then she said, Ah, Phil, we've been waiting for you. Oh, shit. And then okay. everyone burst out laughing, and I turned purple. Oh, that's so <laughs> Do you want to make me feel better with an embarrassing story I have about? So this was... This was, and I remember, this was my very first day of um, secondary school, so calm. Year seven, whatever you want to call it. Mm. Um, and this, I, I would have been how old? Just not long since turn 11. Because mm. uh, I was like, my birthday's in, in the summer, so it's yeah. like the end of the school year. So uh, I didn't have a phone yet. We, mm. I wasn't seen as old enough to have my own phone. Mm. So my mum gave me her phone mm. uh, so that my if my dad needed to call me, mm. 
he could do while I was at school. Right. So my mum gave me her phone. Right. I think Phil's laughing because he knows what's coming. Yeah. Because I think I've told him this before. Go on. And my mum, well, sorry, no, I'll come back to that. So we're in school. <laughs> it's our very first day at a new school. Yeah. School assembly, the head teachers up oh, for dear. talking to everybody. Yeah. Like, you know, we're doing all the introductory stuff, all the basic, welcome to your new school, this is how things work, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. And then about maybe half an hour into this assembly, mm. all I hear from my, I think it was out of my bag of my pocket was, I still hear your voice when you sleep next to me. me. My mother, because yes. this was around the time where every time we took by Cascada yeah. would come yeah. out, yeah. my mother had forgotten to turn off her morning alarm. <sighs> so in the middle of this assembly, with brand new teachers all over, the brand new head teacher, Every single kid in my school year yes. in the hall, because yes. every time we turn, I get this feeling to start blaring out of my phone. <laughs> and I tried to turn it off. I could not get it to turn off. And I started crying. Oh, I was so embarrassed. I got told off. I got dragged out of the assembly. And then I think he realised that it was a genuine mistake. Yeah. And he, like, he let me off. But I was so embarrassed because everyone's first impression of me was, oh, he cried because his phone went off in assembly. I think everyone would think that. I think that is a tune, full stop. So <laughs> you did them all a favour. <laughs> By bringing the club early. That's it, yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think that's... I think I would be who I am now, if that makes sense. I think I would yeah. be the age I am now because I that's like... That's what we were talking about. That's what we were talking about. No, because... I like not giving a shit. Do you know what I mean? I think being younger, you give more of a shit about the shit that does not matter. Another thing I really like about being older as well, you're completely right, another thing I really like about being older is I now have full jurisdiction over who I want to associate with and who I want to talk to. So if there's someone that... (laughs) If there's someone that I just don't really want to talk to anymore or, like, you know some, mm. like, distant family member mm. who I don't really, you know, care to talk about or, you know, have yeah. communications with, I don't have to. Yeah. I'm a grown man. I can do whatever the hell I want. Exactly. And I like mm. having that sort mm. of freedom. Yeah. I also I also really like living away from my parents. I like having yeah. my own freedom in that yeah. sense. Having adult money is both a curse and a blessing. I like freedom. Do you? I'm a Nah. I, was I, was say, I was trying to bring the mood up a bit. <laughs> Our mood's never up. No, I like having adult money. Much like pay. your old, old man dick, it's never <laughs> up. <laughs> it's been 84 <laughs> years. <laughs> okay, and that wraps up this week's episode, and indeed the first episode of the We Pay For Your Floor podcast. Mm-hmm. I have been Andy. I've been Phil. I've been Sarah. And until the very next episode, we will see you later. Yeah, I shall uh, pop back upstairs. Uh, always endeavour to be a good neighbour. You, you better, because we, we pay, pay for your floor. floor.